right. Hello and welcome to Honkai Star Rail. I've become a big fan of uh, Hoyo vs. Genshin Impact, so when I saw this game had come out, I decided it'd be fun to jump into it right from the start. So here we are. I believe this game is a uh, sequel or successor to Honkai Impact the Third, but as I understand it, it's only sort of tangentially related and you don't need to have played that previous game in order to enjoy this one. So here we are. Let's, um, let's see what they have for us. Here we go. <laughs> I this train. I don't know why this makes me super excited. Blasting off into the universe. Hmm. The depths of space on a really cool ship. Nice to have a sci-fi setting too. Got our fantasy and now our sci-fi. Oh hey. Uh I was gonna say I know this song. <laughs> what a song to attack a ship over as she conducts its uh, destruction. Villain, perhaps? Look out! <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. Hmm. Twenty-three forty-seven fifteen system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Kafka, a very uh interesting choice of name. I wonder how intentional that very specific name is. Um, mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Elio. So Kafka is a Stellaron hunter. Uh-huh. 2344-59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. Hmm. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? Actually, maybe Kafka here is the protagonist? Our character? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Hmm. What is this operation, though, Kafka? Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. I'm leaning towards she is, in fact, not the protagonist, and that she is... Well... Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. Oh, she's clearly not the big bad. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> Here she is. After all. Elio didn't put it in the script. <laughs> Why would it matter? <laughs> uh, did you just break space? Oh, a battle. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Oh, 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 oh. It's a uh, turn-based strategy or a real-time strategy, maybe? Uh, well, Final Fantasy style combat system. I love it. Use a basic attack. <laughs> Didn't hurt. 
obliterate. May as well kill them all. I haven't played a Final Fantasy in quite a few years. Select the enemy on the right as your target. Switch to your skill for a stronger attack. Blast. Use skill on the selected enemy. So just have to confirm it. And destroyed. Oh, maybe uh, she is in fact our protagonist. Interesting that we can still use her attack outside of combat, even though it seems to be a uh, more of a strategy. This is the space elevator, which you took to arrive at the space station. As for how you used the enchantment of Spirit Whisper on the elevator security staff, there's no need to go over that right now. Spirit Whisper. Actually, yeah, I don't think she's uh, gonna make it says story up there. Let's get a sense of our bearings here. No jump. At least not yet. I mean, at least it's not space. When did the antimatter legion become so weak? I could only attract hmm. this much. Did you really want the entire legion to come here? So we were trying to lure them here. This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. The train? The A star rail? Beast is also here. Oh, sound that sounds fun. Doomsday Beast. Let's get a. Let's take a look. And the stars are look interesting. Is this ship then the Astral Express? Oh, Scrulum's portrait. Looks like a robot. Hey, Silverwolf, look. It's Scrulum, your good old opponent. Huh? I told oh. you already. I didn't know it was him. Silver Wolf. Is that the uh, mystery or probably just a nickname? Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Skrulem's code. First Skrulem, then Herta. Uh, there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. I am going uh, to assume. Seems like I'm the real destiny slave here that a lot of this is Easter eggs for people who have uh, played the previous game. Who's this? It said Aiden or something, uh, I think. No idea. Aiden's portrait, yeah. Oh, there's actually a bunch of them here. Xandar. This is Xander. Xander 1 Kuwabara. First genius in history. First genius. The one who supposedly created Noose? Yeah, that's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an eon. Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. <laughs> Interesting little tidbits here. So we slowly piece things together. I know this person. She's the Lord of Silence. Well, that's Oga a title. Kakamon. You see? Her face yeah. is all blank. I was gonna she say. destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. Jeez. <laughs> that couldn't have been an easy undertaking. I'm not interested. Hurry up with our real business. All right, game. Okay. There's just one more. Elias Salas's portrait. Who's this old guy with a white beard? Yeah, I know, but he looks important. No idea. A society member? This, you know. M is navigation, huh? Level two antimatter. The enemy is now within the character's attack range. Attack selected uh, enemy to trigger combat. Oh. Can the enemy not trigger combat? May as well kill them all. Or did we get a bonus for having initiated ourselves, perhaps? And those two look weaker now. 
whether that's armor or something else. All characters possess a powerful ultimate, which can be used when their energy is full. Fight enemies to regenerate energy. Sure. Let's uh, attack this one then. Oh. So that attacks three enemies. That's, that's cool. Time to <laughs> You are now at full energy. Activate your ultimate now. Good times never last. Uses ultimate to attack all enemies, right? Time to say bye. <laughs> Shoots them. I mean, this is sci-fi. <laughs> I gotta say, I like the glasses she has. I didn't notice them before. the way the enemies also disappear into a wow cleaning up other people's nests is in my job description you know Kafka oh there she is silver wolf i presume uh, yeah yeah where did you send it silver wolf some random coordinates not important you care about where that void ranger ended up of course not. I like her bow. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. It is impressive. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Oh, she was looking at you, wasn't she? Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. You want to go collect them, Silver Wolf? Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Oh. Like, danger level? Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. It does sound useful. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. I would too, yeah. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Mm, I do like treasure. And so that's where the Stellaron is. Which she was a Stellaron hunter, if I recall correctly. Actually, now it says Cancer of All Worlds. Oh, is that? It's telling me what that word means. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. To know. When I go through editing, I'll pay a little closer attention to those early words that I might not have uh, caught that on. All right, Silver Wolf story has joined the team temporarily. Switch to your team's new addition, Silver Wolf, to the field. Hello, Silver Wolf. Also uses hers. That's where we, uh... No. That's where we came from. Readable items. You may find a lot of readable items on your journey. Do spend some time reading them to learn about people's lives and the lore in different worlds. Ooh, different worlds. You know... This is a separate matter. And perhaps very, very crackpot. But with that particle effect they had and the whole other worlds thing, I wonder how much this game might actually tie, or this universe rather, might actually tie into Genshin. Collected readables can be quickly accessed via the bookshelf function, right? I imagine since we haven't played the previous, it'll be extra important for us to read some of this. Emergency evacuation flashed onto the display. And the front of house receptionist carried out the instructions. Right. Quick read. What is the button for quick read, damn it? Oh, here we go. Uh, official communities, notices, bookshelf. <laughs> so, Herta's got manuscripts and a space station introductory guide. That sounds like it's good to read. Written by Madame Herta, currently no longer distributed due to design issues. Older edition. Welcome to Herta Space Station. 
if your pursuit of the limits of life had extended to the universe itself, or if you question whether the debate about universal truths had, be, had truly been settled, if you longed to reproduce the initial state of the galaxy, or if you obsess over symbols and scrolls, once again, welcome to Herta Space Station. Knowledge and answers can be found here within countless unknowns and novelties, and you will wield the mattock to unearth the answers that you seek. However, in order to immerse yourself in the exciting process, a simple foundational step must be taken. Becoming a research staff, well, becoming a research staff. If you who are currently reading this document are only an astronomic hobbyist, we apologize, as your exploration of the cosmos has ended when you began, began your journey. Please cherish your tour at the reception hall. This may be the closest you will ever get to knowledge and intellect. <laughs> hey. All right. The new edition, written by lead researcher Asta. The new the edition currently in circulation on the space station. Probably uh, a little bit more, um, a little nicer than Madame Herta's. Welcome to the Herta space station. The secrets of the universe are a topic to which many scholars have dedicated their entire lives. They are complicated enough that they cannot be truly, fully described in any language, yet so mundane that anyone can spot them in every nook and cranny. Whatever the uh, case may be, the scattered life forms in the universe have jointly crafted a masterwork that is simply known as civilization. On the journey to pursue the scattered hints about the universe's true nature, we are inev inevitably drawn the same guiding stars, charming and enchanting. They have enticed many seekers of knowledge into dedicating their lives just for one glimpse of the truth. The Herta Space Station is a shaded walkway built along the path lit by those guiding stars. We pick up fragments of the Lost Symphony to reproduce the feast of a glorious past. We decipher the essence of unknown technologies to glimpse the dazzling gleam of civilization's crystallized wisdom. Scholars are boats that sail across the vast ga galaxy toward the ends of its expanse, and the answers silently waiting on the other side are the best motivations for our advance. We hope that you will be able to immerse yourself in the allure of the unknown and the thrill of knowledge in the Herta Space Station. Entrance application. Please email us according to the template provided on our official website. Oh, the internet exists in this world. Neat. Um, presumably more of a galactic scale internet. And we will arrange a time for you to visit us. Due to the number of pending visitors, your request will res be responded to within 180 working days. You know, I've seen worse response times from bureaucracy, so. Area is open to visitors. Heard a space station, space elevator, or a space station reception hall. Special note, each person will be allotted 30 minutes for the tour. Areas involving research are strictly off limits. I don't think that applies to us. We'll wait to collect the rest of those four before reading them. Official communities. Okay, I see. And these are notices, news and notices. We'll get into that after we finish with this prologue. All right. Can't go up the stairs. Galvanized gate blocks the way. Yeah. Setting. Oh, nice. Destructible objects. That explains why we can do that. Try breaking objects lying in corners or along the path. You may find something useful. This month's commercial insurance claim reminder. Please submit your online claim by the 21st of this month. Claims cannot be made in the following cases. Not carrying the space station's member's identification code for medical treatment. Not visiting the space station medical office. Private surgeries, independent medical offices, and other unofficial channels are difficult to verify, so please be careful. Hmm. Yeah, this, um, uh, aesthetic really reminds me of uh, a number of other games that I love. You know, there is a similar one that I haven't seen in years. Was it Star Ocean?
also like Mass Effect and stuff. Um, welcome to the Heart of Space Station. Here you can savor the bounty of the Ocean of Knowledge. Please also beware the risk of drowning. <laughs> of drowning? Oh, in knowledge, in the Ocean of Knowledge. Fair enough. Well, this hint is useless. Who knows what's in the brains of those following the erudition? Hmm. So we enticed the Antimatter League to attack the um, space station here, this research station. I wonder what our actual goal the is. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. I should probably check. Okay. Can I unlock this door? No, still more to do. Is there no stamina? We're sprinting. I want to test something out here. I can attack them, but can they? Yeah. Okay, that answers the question I had. So that resulted in reduced effectiveness, it said. And they also get the first attack. And this is, okay, this is fully turn-based, I can see. Um, we have the action order presented. That's nice. Presumably, w there are different speeds and perhaps abilities that affect the order. Ultimates are not affected by the action order and can be used in any turn. Okay, that explains why it seemed like I was interrupting the enemy before. Good to know. All right, uh, single target. Uh, can you let me have some fun this time? I can. Let's see what your uh, skill does. So, presumably, these are some sort of action points. I'm sure they'll explain to it shortly. But yeah, using your skill uses more. Time for a buzz. Oh, that changes. Weakness implanted to lightning. Ow. You're now full energy. Activate your ultimate now. After an ultimate becomes available, it can be used immediately, right? This combat needs optimizing. User banned. <laughs> I like that. Speed too slow. There's a lot of aesthetics this reminds me of. I love it. Just, just battle over. All right. New feature available. Tutorials. Cast. Click an ability. Yes, of course. Select target. Yeah, we've seen that. Action order. We've seen that. Wait. Action order show. Yes. Action value demonstrates how long it's going. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. So skills take up two action value, presumably. How long it takes before the character takes their next action. I see. The smaller this value is, the higher up the character is on the action order. And how those interact will be a complex web of... Presumably, wherever you currently are, it'll place you uh, that many down. Mm, probably not, actually, because you'd almost be cutting in line. It's probably a little more complicated how it places you. Oh, use it right at the moment to give you more actions. Yeah. I imagine maybe there are some situations where you don't want to use it imme immediately, but in general, probably a smart move. Aw. Oh, health? I like Silver Wolf. Do I like Silver Wolf or Kafka more? Ah, Silver Wolf has the more playful, fun, oh my, I, I, hacker sort of gamer, I don't know, vibe to her. Hold it. Yes, Kafka? Someone or something is up ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. And ambush. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. Yeah. Well, last time we did too, but that was mostly me just testing the waters. But they're the ones getting besieged. Hmm. 
All right, Kafka. May as oh. well kill them all. Like the ambush was actually in our favor. Interesting. Skill points is a combat resource shared by the whole team. Oh no, okay, so that they are those were not your action economy. Um switch to skill. Consume skill points to use skills. I see. Actually I just wasted that. Should have targeted that one. You took the bait just like that. So now we can't use it. Skills cannot be used when insufficient skill points are present. Use basic attack to recover team skill points, right? And destroy. And getting a hit is what regenerates your energy, actually. Good times never last. Didn't realize we had that available. Time to say bye. So she shoots them with all the guns, and Silver Wolf just erases them from existence. I see. Yeah, I think the top bar is probably an armor of some sort. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herta organize it herself? Hmm. Suppose maybe we'll meet Herta. According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation oh, wow. was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. I think we read her note. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Yeah. So Elio is our boss, right? Or giving us jobs, at least. Where's the Stellaron? Perhaps more like Q. Cancer of all worlds, yeah. Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. When you say he foresees, are you trying to say he's a... F like he sees the future, or he is intuiting or deducing this space station is really packed smart. with extraordinary objects i wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen like that gun you said you mentioned earlier well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary this is pretty herta hmm. i assume you know what to do i mean you've read the catalog for quite a while i've got all the clues we need Wonderful. the only piece missing is a simple i definitely trick. don't Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. All right. So that's the computer they want us to investigate. Let's uh, look around the room first. Oh, there she is. Can I talk to you? Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. I see, yeah. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. No? This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. Well, that is a sign of competence, at least. As much as it might make our jobs harder. See this computer. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. So we're not friends of Herta, clearly. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. You have something, Silver Wolf? So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Go ahead, Miss Hacker. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Oh. You were already done, weren't you? You just want me out of your Simple, way. Simple, crude, but effective. 
Look, found it. What did you find? Interact with the curio. Hmm, huh. what's this? Item number 211, line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed. Oh. But if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. Huh. That's really cool. A sort of a, well, an invisibility field and or a, uh... Actually, the way she worded that, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So it sounds almost more like a perception filter, but no. It is, um... It's more like an invisibility field. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Well... And... Huh. That's... that's neat. Clever trick. I really like uh, the style of games where uh, they really just throw you in the deep end. Strange of whatever is happening. Two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. That's good. I'll pay for it to be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. Is this the Stellaron? This is Stellaron, spread throughout the galaxy by a wandering aeon, sowing chaos and disaster. Yikes. You know what, that... <laughs> now this actually kind of reminds me of, uh... <laughs> The Expanse, too. I love it. Sci-fi is... I always love, I've always loved sci-fi as a genre. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? I mean, I would imagine so, based on how it's described. Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. Wonderful. What happens if you touch it? Oh, I guess I'll find out. Oh. The receptacle's ready. It's fine. Your it's decision. safe. <laughs> oh. Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. Here we go. He also said it must be you who makes it. Kalos or Stell? Should we stick with the, uh, uh... The choice we made in Genshin, or should we go for the... The guy this time? Mmm... I'll flip a coin like usual. Why are you standing around? Because I'm flipping Having a coin. Thoughts. All right. Heads is Stell. Tails is Kalos. You're gonna think for this long? <laughs> Didn't make up your mind when you got out of bed this morning? Don't hurry me, Silver Wolf. This is a big decision. <laughs> I love that. I kind of wanted to sit here now and uh, let them make their comments. All right, let's go with the. Uh, we'll go, we'll uh, be going with. Come oh. on, I'll pick for you. This one. Yeah. <laughs> this one. All uh, right, Silver Wolf. Did you forget that I must be the one to make this decision? Um, we'll be going with Stell. The coin has spoken. Receptacle cannot, receptacle cannot be changed after verification. I wonder what, um, it, they say it's, I wonder if this is an artificial person. Want to give her a new name? Um, no, I think this time I'll go with the actual canon name. Oh no, 
we have to. Still. Fingerprint that looked like? Oh, um, it's presumably Kafka's fingerprint. There we go. We just made the protagonist. Yeah, artificial life form of some sort, it seems. How much does she remember? Hm, I'll remember you. Time to get up. Huh. So we store the chaos of the universe in a person. Oh. That is fascinating. <laughs> Where am I? A space station, but that's not important. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. Eh, true. Um, that's been the case since the beginning. But, uh, I like the, uh, sort of art of the distortion of her voice. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. I mean, I don't think I have a past, do I? Listen. Unless... In the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. I'm hoping. And you'll meet companions who will treat <laughs> you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. That we'll have to roll for, of course. At the end of your journey... All that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Sounds like an exciting future. I'm excited. I guess. No, I don't want it. Where are you going? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. Yeah, that's the thing, though. That is written. Very mysterious. <laughs> Very interestingly worded it's like weaving brocade you and i can only add one gold thread each time but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern how much of fate is set in stone so to speak how long do you think you need according to the script the astral express crew is arriving soon we should avoid being seen by them hmm. trailblazers astral trailblazers I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry. Someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. Hmm. You won't remember a thing except me. What about Silverwolf? I like Silverwolf. Farewell. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Fair enough. So long, Kafka. Maybe I'll see you on a banner someday. I don't know. Weren't the coordinates sent out from the space station? The person who's come to get me? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? I mean, I very well might have originally been such. <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March. You better do CPR. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> I've never done it before. Don Hung, you do it. <laughs> Wait, stop it. They're awake. <laughs> uh, first person view. Are you all right? Um... Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Yeah, I was just born yesterday. Or, well, I actually don't know how long ago that was. I don't remember a thing. Except Kafka. She said I would. Aw, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. That's not a mystery. She's March. He said so. My name is Stell. And I look like I just got out of bed. My name's Don Hung. 
and this is March 7th. <laughs> March 7th? That's actually her name. Or is it a nickname? This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Oh. I wonder what the, uh, having, like I said, what the, having that chaos inside me will, how that'll manifest. I wonder why they store the Stellaros in, uh, well. Presume, I'll, I'll, I'll work off the assumption that we're, uh, we're an artificial human. Lead researcher Asta. Uh-huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. I see. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Uh, yes. Employee. The Antimatter Legion. Goon zoned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. Emanator of destruction. Yeah. That's, uh... That doesn't actually help much. I mean, they both basically mean the same thing. It's a, a, a big, bad source of ouch, basically. So the Destruction is the name of the organization, presumably. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. You sure look confident. <laughs> and she looks, well, kind of blank right now. Where should I go? Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. I wonder how many people are aware of this implanting Stellaras in uh, bodies. How many people are aware of that? Plus, that's where we park the Astral Express. Oh, wonderful. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the, the Star Rail. Clear up this mess. Which will take us to many worlds, presumably. Who are you guys? Don Hung and I are members of the Astral Express crew. I figured. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <coughs> crew of heroes, <laughs> of we're course. happy to lend a hand. Thank you, March 7th. When were you born, by the way? Was it March 7th? The Astral Express. Yeah. You've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. Uh, amnesia slash born yesterday. I remember. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. Hmm. I see. That is a really cool train. I'll show you once we're back to the master control zone. Oh, should, do you have a camera? Wanna take a picture to commemorate this moment of us meeting? Let's go then. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Fair enough, Don Hung. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Aw, don't like being separated. Is that this sort of comedic music? Hmm. Maybe you should bring this. What? A weapon? The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. Oh, it's yeah. better if you have something to protect yourself. That's true. I'm not playing a, uh, well, really presumably high power uh, team anymore. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. Oh, I'll be glad to stick with you, March 7th. Characters. View details of all unlocked characters. Oh, good. So she's a free character. Um, left alt. Press and hold. Yes, I know that. Detailed information about your characters can be viewed in the character screen. Yes. Each character has their own type. Stell is a physical type character. Oh. Each character has their own path. Stell is a character that follows the path of destruction. 
That kind of makes sense considering what she's implanted with, actually. Characters come in different types and follow different paths. Learn about each character in the detailed screen. So she's the path of preservation. Oh, cool. Possesses powerful defensive abilities to protect allies in various ways. I see. It basically tells you what their role in a combat is. Uh, destruction deals outstanding amounts of damage and possesses great survivability. Suitable for various combat scenarios. So, DPS slash tank. Well, it's not quite right. But a frontline fighter. Actually, I don't even know if this game has lines yet. A back and a front row. The Hunt deals extraordinary amounts of single target damage. Main dealer, and main damage dealer against elite enemies, right? So against bosses and stuff. Erudition deals remarkable amounts of multi-target damage. So main damage dealer against groups of enemies. Harmony applies buffs. And Nihility, a Nihilist. Uh, applies debuffs to enemies to reduce their combat capabilities, and then abundance heals. Right, okay. And then combat types. Ice uses... Using ice attacks to trigger weakness break. I wonder actually what kind the other characters were before. Um, will deal ice damage and freeze the target, immobilizing the enemy, and dealing additional ice damage. Physical attacks... Trigger weakness break. Oh, these all trigger weakness break. Um, we'll deal physical damage and uh, apply the bleed effect, dealing physical DOT. Yes, cool. That first one was just additional damage. This one's damage over time. Fires, same damage over time with a burn. Lightning, shock effect, uh, lightning damage over time. Shear, wind shear damage over time. Quantum. Quantum damage <laughs> causes entanglement. Quantum entanglement, I see. Um, delaying the enemy's action and dealing additional quantum damage to the affected enemy at the start of the next turn. When the enemy is hit, this extra damage will increase. Oh, huh. interesting. And then imaginary. When using an imaginary attack, the attack will deal imaginary damage. And it Additionally, inflict imprisonment. Imprisoned enemies suffer from delayed actions and speed reduction. Very cool. All right. Enough of that. So your ice and preservation. So we can see their uh, <laughs> their talent is girl power. I like that. Um, after shielded ally is attacked by an enemy, March 7th immediately counters. Dealing ice damage equal to 50% of her attack. We can uh, look more into these a little later, I think. I'm not too worried for the moment about what our abilities are. And our talents. What is this? Destruction stell, no items, unequipped. Hmm. Is this sort of like uh, an artifact? You have one light cone. We don't have any. Um, there will be a tutorial when we get to that point, I suppose. Edelons. Huh. So sort of like constellations, then. I imagine there's a lot of parallels between all of uh, Hoyo versus games. And then, of course, level up. But we don't have the stuff we need for that, right? Yeah. No, our phone. Our menu. Um, Trailblazer profile. Ooh, birthday. Um, what is today? It is the 2nd of May. I do. Support character. What does uh, this do, I wonder? Rules. 
support. Set up a support character to help other players. If another player completes a fight with your support character, you will receive a certain reward up to five times per day. The reward will accumulate, and once they exceed the maximum limit, you will no longer be able to receive obtained rewards. Huh. Um. Someone would use my character. I guess I'll just start with Stell. And March 7th. Let's wait so she can be... <laughs> even though she can be a companion to herself. All right, fine. Um, I'm sure this will once again make more sense a little later. Oh, and now that we're here, let's take a look at some of this stuff. Dear Trailblazer, welcome aboard the Astral Express where we can enjoy the trailblazing journey together. Event warp overview. Butterfly and sword tip. Event warp. Ooh, a limited five star light cone. Much of this is meaningless to me at the moment. But, um. Presumably, this is the current event for the game. Permanent events. Departure of the Express Benefits Overview. Thank you for your constant support of the Astral Express. The Express has now set off. The crew hereby brings to each trailblazer a total of 80 warps as rewards. Ah, so that's our uh, in-game currency um, for getting uh, pulls. May this journey lead us a Star Wars. Include includes the number of warps purchasable by free Stellar Jades. Or wait, no. Maybe the warps are the uh, poles themselves, and the stellar jades are the uh, currency. And there's star rail special passes. All right, well. Notices. Fair gaming declaration. Yes. Fair enough. Simple stuff. Stellar warp details. Warp period permanent. Stellar Warp is a permanent event. Oh, okay. Use your Star Rail passes to obtain characters and light cones. Every 10 warps, guarantee a 4-star or a rarer character or light cone. Yes. Oh, light cone is the weapon then, I think. Also, making 300 warps in Stellar Warp, you can choose one... Wait. So after making 300 warps in Stellar Warp, you can choose any one of the obtainable 5-star characters in Stellar Warp to join your roster. You get to choose... Oh, but the reward is only available once. Still, you get to choose. That's that's beautiful. That is fantastic. Um, departure warps is another guaranteed event or permanent event. I mean, use your star rope passes to obtain characters and light cones. You can enjoy a twenty percent discount on star rail passes for ten warps. Oh, these are the banners. So this is the permanent banner, basically. And then this is a sort of a beginner's permanent banner. Well, permanent up until you use it so many times, I imagine. Enjoy 20% discount. Star passes for 10 warp. Every 10 warps guarantees a star and rarer, a four star and rarer character or light cone. At least one five star character is guaranteed every fi in, fi in 50 warps. Huh. Is it just me or... Is this game friendlier with the uh, the pity than Genshin? This one doesn't say when five stars are guaranteed. Only that you get the get to choose one after three hundred. Hmm. New Herta contracts have been added to the contract shop. This is. Stuff we'll probably have to pay for. Ah, and this is the uh, Belkin Moon Blessing equivalent, it seems. Probably. 
Yeah, receive 90 Stellar Jade every time you log in, once per day. Ooh, okay, so this is the first non-permanent event. And the reason I wanted to get into this game sooner rather than later. Uh, so this one goes till June, okay. For another month then. Gotta get your Trailblaze level, which is presumably basically the same as your world level, or your adventure rank. Up to greater than 13. Fair enough. We'll get there. Beta tester sign up. And then here we have our first two banners. Okay. Fun stuff. Let's actually get uh, going, though. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Yeah. For this collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. I know, right? Look at all this. Total eclipse of the hard way. These aren't musical references, are they? Now, Kirio has just been contained by the Department of Implement Arts. Even its Enough archival... Dilly -dally. Hey. We gotta go. I know. Hold on. <laughs> it's not yet available. Okay, yeah. Crack up conch. Is this a conch shell? Item number 148, crack up conch. This conch makes a strange sound. It is unlike laughter, but it is nevertheless quite humorous. As the after effects of the Allegiance invasion have not been completely removed, all, not all carriers displayed in the space station are displayed here. Fair enough. Joy filtration set. The portable device inside the cube can be used to identify and collect joyous emotions. Oh, <laughs> collects emotions. There are signs that the portable devices have been removed from the cubes. It seems like there is a high demand for joy. Huh. An interesting world. Rating pistol. Oh, the pistol they mentioned before. This weapon uh, rates creatures on sight using unknown scoring logic. Closed eye of this little weird little gun suddenly snaps open as it swirls around for a moment, staring at you with malice. <laughs> the rating pistol gazed at Stell. 84 points, it announced. Oh, out of 100? Thank you. You think this score is kind of weird? So, my light cone, I'm actually attacking with a literal cone slash club. Fair enough. All right. Oh. Carry on management log. I don't have the hacker with me anymore. Oh, is that an enemy? Uh, it's the antimatter legion. I see them. So these crazy jerks made it all the way here. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, nice. Didn't actually even realize she had a bow. I just switched and clicked before I could register. Um, all right then. Let's have you use your defense. It only uses it, can only use it on one person. All right, use it on uh, Stell. With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> Power of cuteness, I love it. Um, the type icon indicates the enemy's weakness type. Oh, I see. So actually, weak dice. The white bar below the weakness types indicate the enemy's toughness. I figured it was something like that. Armor. Using attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness types would deplete the enemy's toughness. Ooh, okay. So that's Stell's skill. Who's next? This attack can deplete enemy toughness to zero. Nice. Use physical attacks to inflict weakness break, causing enemies to bleed. Right, so that's what weakness break, uh, break meant. Just a scratch. You can't run. Oh, there's the counter. 
recovered from the break. Try that again. And it's unlimited counters. That's good to know. So. I killed that one before. Um, we presumably have toughness as well, do we not? Defense lasts for quite a while, too. That's nice. Um, let's go. Let's, uh, I mean, we might as well use your skill. You're stronger than you look. Yeah, you seem to be quite the fighter. I mean, she does have like some sort of eldritch abomination, uh, some cosmic horror implanted in her. So, I would hope so. You do not have space station access authorization. What was the rest of that? Unable to open the hatch, right? And same with this one, yeah. Some sort of growth there. So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? No, but I can figure it out. Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? Unknown. I don't remember. Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Well, hey. Not quite. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Oh, basic treasure. Thank you. Oh, and I, uh, good that I automatically got it. Otherwise, I would imagine it would have fallen off the ledge. Do I want to test whether I can actually go off the ledge? I wonder what happens if I do. I kind of do, but I also uh, probably shouldn't. Credits. Classic. Yeah, there's the enemy. The enemy's weakness type can be viewed after approaching them. Oh, so that looks like physical, ice, wind, electro, imaginary. Entering battle with an attack that matches the enemy's weakness uh, can reduce the toughness in of the enemy in advance, right? So... Gotcha! I initiated. Uh-oh. Stell is locked on by the enemy and will be attacked first, yes. Which is why I'm going to use her preservation. That was my plan. Let's make it quick. This actually gives me 219 defense. Oh, that explains what that was and how long it lasts. Shield will be displayed on the outer edge of the HP bar. I see that, yeah. So you're weak to it, but we can get three of them. So take this. Covered, huh? Well, he'll be weakened over time. When a character takes damage, the shield effect will be reduced first. Yes. You can't run. Plus the counter, which is nice. Just scratch. Try that again. Oh, and because it's ice, those ones are weak to it. Fantastic. You have the worst luck running into me. Now I didn't see. Mm, that's her HP, obviously. It doesn't look like we get a look at, um... At, uh... How much she has left. Let's take you out. 
Let's go. Very good. So it has one more turn. My turn. Oh, she has her burst. Actually, they both do. <laughs> I like the animations. How's there? You have the worst luck running into me. Those are always fun in these kinds of games. Um, it's also Rules used. Are made to be broken. Oh, don't have to confirm this one. I do. Stell is a powerful character that follows the path of destruction. Yeah. Stell's ultimate offers two powerful mo attack modes. Oh, single target, multi target. Well, we'll go single target. Presumably single target is stronger. <laughs> yeah. Reach the end of the story in your own way. This blade shield length. Oh. It's equal to the percentage of the character's max HP. The remaining shield effect translates to. Oh. I see. Okay. Space anchor. Oh, okay. So, basically, a uh, Archon statue equivalent. Very good. Hey, buddy, over there. Mm -mm -mm. Looks good. Hasty treasure. All right. Can I investigate this? No. I like her eyes. Uh, I knew it. What? It worked. It's broken. But it wasn't me. The <laughs> antimatter legion must have broken. Oh, don't worry, March. I didn't think it was you. Uh, too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. <laughs> Maybe even elevator repair. The music is back. Is this just Don Hung's theme? Uh, I don't know that one. Oh, he's back. Hey, Don Hung. Whoa! Uh, why are you here? And how did you get here before us? He didn't. He clearly came after us there, March. I took another route to the upper level. And I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. Wait, was Arlan? Was Arlan or Astra the one that uh, wrote that manual we looked at before? You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should... No, it would have been Astra. Then let's go talk to him. Wonderful. I think I saw an enemy blocking the way, though. Don Hung. Four stars. We didn't actually see how many stars marches, but I assume four. The hunt. He's a spear. Team setup. Change your team lineup to meet different kinds of challenges. Yes, alrighty. There we go. Very cool. Huh. Uh, I assume that the relative positions aren't actually, uh, make doesn't, it's not like frontline versus rear line fighters. Yes. Oh, he can level up. Okay, cool. Oh, I see. I had one. So I could actually, uh... Boom. I could level up her, too. Sure. Nice. Nice. 
now. Enemy. There it is. Uh, not weak to ice. What are you, Don Hung? Oh, good. Air, uh, wind. New feature available technique. A special ability that can help with exploration. Okay. Use March 7th's technique to gain an edge in combat. All right, I was going to use Don Hung, but sure. Clemency? Never heard of it. March 7th's technique can randomly freeze an enemy when the battle starts. I see. Yeah. Alright, done hung. Let us. This is a single target. Oh, you're weak to wind. I told you Fantastic. I um Yeah. Go ahead and attack this one. Not very Let's strong. Go. And done. All right. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Yeah, I presume having, uh, you know, that bar not all the way empty increases, like, their defense and stuff. Very nice. You couldn't have done it without me. I know. Actually, I'd say Don Hung there contributed even more. But I like you too, March 7th. Don't worry. Oh. Security chief. Hey. You're all together? You sound really young to be a security chief. I guess you're just really unlucky with your voice. Yep. We're from the Astral Express. Oh. Did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Came to deliver the rare relic Herta entrusted you to find. I wonder what relic that was. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. <laughs> well... I mean, I suppose I don't actually know anything about that officially, but uh, it's almost like it was planned. Like they were drawn here, like moths to the flame. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. That that group, the Stellara Hunters, or Stellaron, I forget exactly, um, they're a very powerful group, it seems. I wonder if they're how secret society they are. Lady... Lead researcher Hosta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. It's okay. Don't well. be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide mm -hmm. here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, no point in... Just uselessly sacrificing yourself. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now, our highest priority is to return to the master control zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the master control zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Did she? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. <sighs> Wait. Arch. Wait, that card is all we needed to unlock the elevator? But where did I put it? Oh, no. You... You lost it. 
Oh, oh, thank goodness. Uh, <sighs> I feel your pain, Don Hung. Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Right. Oh, so we wouldn't have been able to unlock it from the elevator itself. Fair enough. The entire screen is filled with surveillance screens, none of which show anything unusual. Something is flashing at the bottom right corner, and there's a strange icon in the taskbar. Wait, did that door open? No. I heard the sound. Let me through. There goes the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Why did you do that, silly? Why? It's so far away. Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the master control zone by the oh. elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. Fair enough. I respect that. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? I actually kind of assumed he would come with us too, March. My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and I mean, shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control zone. He looks like he's almost certainly recruitable. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Right? Agreed. She and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Yeah, we probably could. Let us worry about the antimatter legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Yeah. Don't overthink this. You can use me as a crutch. Aren't you a nice kid? Hey, just because I am only, like, a few hours old does not make me a kid. Thank you very much. Thank you. Traces. Level up traces to, comp uh, to comprehensively enhance your character. What are these, like, talents, effectively? Oh, nice. Different branches, too. Um, choose Traces node. Activate Traces to strengthen the character. Level 1. Ice damage increased by 3.2%. Very nice. And it's at its max level. Requires different ascensions, of course. I am going to assume, for now, that you don't have to make any decisions, like, that you can eventually hit all the nodes, perhaps max them out, probably. Is my guess. What about you? Well, I can activate this one, thanks to having Thief's Instinct. Straight just increases attack. Very nice. All right, and how about you, Don Hung? Oh, just enough extinguished cores. Wonderful. And I don't have any light cones yet. Yeah, no. Presumably. Well, actually, no. Maybe I'll always basically just be hitting people with clubs. Because they don't have a light cone either, and they but they do have their weapons. HP, never mind. Nice. It's too late to repent. He gets two attacks in there. Watch this. Let's go. Um. Home run. I like it. 
Beautiful. You couldn't have done it without me. Yeah, that was uh that was all you. I admit it. So that's the way we're supposed to go. Oh, shiny. Aw. Maybe once uh, we secure the space station, we'll be able to come back and uh, actually access these places. They're currently closed off. So you are weak. Get over here, you. Thank you. Who am I missing? Do I actually have to aim that? I wonder. Um. Let us... Target you. Nice. Oh, I'll use that in a second. Rules are made to be broken. Basically, just hits people <laughs> with a bat. <laughs> kind of like it. Oh, uh, let's go. Yeah. I told you I could fight. <laughs> oh, I know you can. Let's make it quick. <laughs> yeah, bats are a classic, I suppose. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't miss that. Oh, another manuscript from Herta. Don't mind if I do. Looks good. Mm -hmm. The repulsion bridge has been shut down. Hmm. Yes. I mean, to stall the enemy. More or less. I feel like we could easily climb this. Maybe just shimmy up on the side. But I suppose it's easier. And there's an enemy. Antimatter Legion. A Ravager or whatever. Let's see, uh... Um, hold on. He's weak to, uh... Gotcha. Not sure what all their talents do at the moment, but the oh, truth of life and her. death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Very nice. Um. Your uh, get your weakness down. Good. I told you I could fight. Um, I could have you defend against yourself, but no. Watch this. Let's go. Good. And finish it. Yeah. Almost. There we go. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. True. Uh, what hey, do we have here? these shiny things. Oh, the light cone. Are these light cones? Fantastic. I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. Hmm. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights. But I have no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. I hope we find a lot more from now on. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. I figured they probably were. Here we are. Provide stat boosts to characters, offers special abilities if the wearer's path matches that of the light cone. So it is more like an artifact than a weapon. I just use a bat, because why not? <laughs> hmm. 
Yes, light cones can offer stat bonuses. Equip light cones that match the character's path to activate powerful light cone abilities. Yes. Equip stealth with a light cone. Destruction. What did that say down there, though? The death of all things is, is as natural as their rebirth. Time erodes everything, turning all tangible entities to dust. Hmm. Havoc. Increases the wearer's basic attack and skill damage by 20%. So we have uh, Constellation, Talents, uh, Equipment, uh, basically uh, Artifact, and then uh, no, no Weapon as far as I can tell. And that gives us Stellar Jades. Very nice. Ooh, got the space anchor, nice. No collectibles in here. No chests. Aye, right, there we are. Don't mind if I do. How are we getting over? We've reached the elevator already. Yes, How we are have. Too many monsters. No. Oh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. <laughs> oh, so fair. And yeah, there it is. Right on cue. Is that the uh, Lord of? Uh... Oh shoot! What was the full name? Move carefully. No, it's just a Void Ranger uh, trap trampler. But not the Lord of Destruction thing, though. Let's go ahead and... Uh, break your defense as much as possible. Oh, that wasn't as effective as I would have hoped. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision. A little better. Extra action. The enemy has locked onto Stell, ready to use a powerful charge attack. Yeah. Use March 7th's skill to give a shield uh, to the ally being locked on, right? Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. Use checking mode to view a character's status in detail. Checking mode displays the current buffs and debuffs applied to a character. Oh, nice. I like that. Very useful. Give you the exact number of uh, energy shield and HP there. Click to view detailed information about enemies. Oh. Very nice. Enemy status. Product of the Antimatter Legion utilizing the Warforge to recast and fuse remnants of fallen warriors and leviathans. Though relatively rare, they possess both the intelligence of a warrior and the power and mobility of a leviathan. Its screech can summon a large number of Void Rangers. Hmm. Awesome. I like that you can get that detailed information. Um. Let's go ahead and uh, hit all of you. Just a stretch. Try that again. Yeah, I can see it there. The actual uh, shield bar. That's good. You can't run. Oh, um, you might as well sometimes. use your glacial cascade. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Should always use them basically immediately. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Resisted the freeze. Um. Let's 
break you. Oh, I didn't realize that. Rules are made to be broken. I had that. Yeah, they don't. I mean, they have it here. They don't have like any pop of that. Let's see. Hey, it's ready, which is fair enough. Just need to pay attention. I told you I could fight. Very nice. Watch this. Let's go. Effective. So after they're broken, I don't think um, using the uh, elemental type actually has an additional effect anymore. Hey, that hurt. Oh, it was an AoE. Let's make it quick. Take this. Come on. Almost got you, Mr. Horse. Centaur. Oof, that hurts. Who are you blocking on to? Oh, him. With me out here, how can we lose? Wind resistance penalty, I think I saw. Almost got him. Clemency? Never heard of it. Yeah, there we go. They use X Machina. God, I love the machine. Uh, I did say he could summon a bunch. Hey, sore losers. You can't just gang up on us. I think they can. Oh, security drone. Nice. Is that you, Arlen? Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, Asta? at least you're back. March, Dun Hong. Oh no. You've been through a lot. Himiko. Phew, oh, Himiko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? <laughs> uh, no, but it would not be very successful. Nor would shooting them with a gun or just about anything. In fact, if you have a swarm of locusts, it's better just to uh, accept your defeat. Maybe a flamethrower. I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but... I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. <laughs> Herda would not like that. Eh, probably not. Was that your drone, though? <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Bye-bye, mm. Arlan. I'm sure I'll see you again later. Nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. Oh, very cool. So you're the one who will take me to the stars, are you? In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for mm. you along the way, has she? No, she's been fine. It's been a pleasure to get to know her. Thank you about how you want to reply to that. <laughs> That's a veiled threat if I've ever heard one. In that case, I'd rather not answer. I've never more met a more lively girl in my life. Lively. That is a good word, a good word for her. Well, that's the joy of youth. We should take every step forward full of energy. <laughs> She's a discerning one, isn't she, Don Hung? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Oh, you know, fighting for your lives has that effect. Come on. Asta's been worried about all of you. Himiko. Oh, trial character. Wonderful. And Trailblaze level three. Well, I actually think this will be a good spot. Oh, cool to end for now bit of a longer episode but uh i currently plan on releasing these only uh 
once a week for the moment on Wednesdays. We'll see. Uh, I don't know how much content there is out currently, but, uh, well, until next time. <laughs>